when I decided to go with my sabbatical a couple months ago, my my big fear obviously was just that I'm taking this time off from the working world to to focus on improving my writing. And my my main goal was obviously to improve my skill. And my subsequent main fear was that my skill would not end up going up, that, that I wouldn't have used this time properly. And so I, I was taking a look at, at, at my writing today and just, I mean, to, to, I mean, certainly today was one of those days when my writing was just clicking. But I've got to say, my writing has improved quite a bit. And, and you know, when I say quite a bit, it, it, it might be only, you know, in terms of percentage, maybe a couple percentage points to be honest. But just that that leap from, from where I was to kind of where I am right now with my writing, it, I see it myself. I think it's a very noticeable thing and I, I'm i quite happy with it. I, I you know, it, in, in terms of the cost to benefit uh, of taking time off from the working world uh, of, you know, you know, sort of living off of savings right now to improve my writing, it's it's been worth it. I mean, d just looking at the result right now, if I, if I can keep this, like keep this skill level here and build off of it, if it's not a temporary sort of jump, but something, but you know, in essence, a new plateau for my, for my skill level, then I gotta say it was worth it. I mean, I mean, you know, you know to, if it's a very permanent skill base for me, then this has been, this has been worth it. Uh, you know, and it, it's a good feeling. It, it's, it's one, you know, it's, it's nice to, it's nice to go into something believing in yourself, at least somewhat, <laughs> despite despite the fear, and then being validated for it. It's not. I don't think it's something that, that everybody experiences for sure. Um, so I'm very very happy that that it, that things have worked out that way. Uh, but yeah. So on reflection of this, I, I you know maybe maybe it's not been the time off, but perhaps this the skill jump might have occurred if. I had still been working full time and I was getting maybe an hour or, or two basically in the evenings. And, but just the fact that I was writing every day, I don't know. I'll be honest. I, I'm feeling more rested now going into my days of writing. I'm not tired chronically. I'm not, um, you know, I, I, I'm not experiencing as much brain fog as I normally did when I was working the, the, you know, you know the eight to four thirty life. So I, I think there's something to be said for it. I, I, I do think there's something to be said for, just having the lifestyle where where you can recover between your sets, you know, as it were. I know it's kind of a weightlifting sort of philosophy there, but I, I do think writing in its own way is very much a, a mental. You know, the, the people call it a mental exercise. It, it's it's like exercise. You you, you exert so much in, in a finite period of time, and then you need to recover in between. Um, and, you know, so I, I do think that having that time just to, you know, unwind to rest to recover. I think it has helped, and so with that, if if this if this if it was to end tomorrow, if if my this entire sabbatical, if I get a call tomorrow that I, you know, I was I was starting work up again, then hey, it, it was worth it. it. It was worth getting, you know, get, just just that that couple percentage points better. It was it was worth just moving, you know, a little bit higher up on, on that graph chart. But, uh, I mean, obviously, fortunately, I, I still got some time left on the sabbatical here. I still got at least, um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure when this thing will end, but I got, you know, I'm planning at least probably at least another month or so of this before I start perhaps getting a bit more serious about returning to the working world there. I was going to originally make it a little bit longer, and then I was debating making it shorter, so I'm not sure when, when this thing ends. But just, I guess, checking in, and if this is like a midway point check-in, it's been good. Um, so very, very happy with that. <sighs> yeah. So hopefully I update on everything as far as the writing world goes. I got the um, short story done today. So that short story that I was writing that first draft is done. Uh, again, it felt like a very strong um, first draft, which will be good. I don't know when I'll be getting a chance to revise that now with, um, you know, obviously doing the revision to my novel I've been working on, plus the other, other novel I mentioned yesterday um, that the publishers are potentially, you know, looking to publish. I mean, if I can get it done, basically, at some point this year, I mean, I, I guess I guess that'll be lucky. But 
going forward, I mean, the plan now at this point is just revisions. I'm going to start tomorrow uh, with uh, going through basically the the novel I was working on here, my the the main focus. Um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll probably just end up printing it off, and then um, maybe in the afternoon playing around with how I want to approach um, rewriting that other novel. I, 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 I've i got to come up with, with some sort of like code name for each novel to kind of that, that way people know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, so that, that'll be it tomorrow. I guess it's back to, I guess it's time to start diving the revisions. The, the fun of doing, you know, first drafts, it goes away now. The, the, the free, the free, you know, energy you get, um, that, that very, those very energizing projects from the first draft, those are now going away, and now comes the the hard sort of slog of the revisions. 